Okay, I'm going to show you how to start Visitor T Artist. Now, depending on what your setup is, it may be a little bit different, but from this video, you'll be able to get the gist of it. So before I can get Viz Artist to start, what I need is a database. And this is the Viz GH terminal. This is the database. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click that and or right click and run as administrator. Again, depending on your setup or your computer, your database may not even be on this localhost computer. Since I'm running everything on one computer, I also have my database connected through this computer. And this is where I start as well. So once we start the VizGH terminal, you can see this little interface that we have here. By default, if your database is already set up, you can just hit start. And here you can see what you're running. I have a Viz localhost. If I need to change the database, I can do that. If I click this little icon with the right arrows you can see it opens up a new window here it gives you some information and here it gives you the data directory which we can navigate to and change if we need to so for instance if i want to create a brand new database i can do that i can come over to into my windows folder and i'm just going to create a new folder i'll call it new database i'll come over into my data directory and i'm going to go browse and i can come up and select new database and say select folder hit apply hit OK and then start so once our database is started it's OK to go ahead and double click and start Visitor T Artist and Visitor T Artist will run through its loop here to start up and you can see it's double checking all the plugins and everything to make sure everything's OK to get started once it's started it gives you your logging credentials Again, it may be set up by your administrator, and all we need to do is go ahead and hit Login. Once we hit Login, you can see that it now starts Visitor T Artist. Since this was a brand new database that we started, we have absolutely nothing in our database to design with. So that means I'd have to import all my images, my fonts, and everything like that. I have no folders, scenes, nothing. If we want to close out and go ahead and go back into another database, to switch database we can do that as well so we'd have to close out artist we're going to shut down the graphic terminal and we're going to select a new database to work with here so once it's shut down you can see this start button becomes active we can go ahead and click in our little right arrow icons here and we come over to the data directory and we're going to browse again we go into a folder and we want to choose a new database so I'm just going to select this topmost folder and say select folder I'm going to hit apply I'm going to hit OK and once that's ready the start button is ready so I'm going to hit start and now we're ready to start Visitor T Artist again now notice when we made that brand new database in this database folder if I double click on it it created all these folders and subfolders by itself so you don't have to go in and create that when you make a new database it will automatically be done by Visitor T to create the correct database structure so I can just go ahead and log into Visitor T Artist and now this particular database you can see that we have some assets in here that we can start designing with and some scenes and projects and folders so that's the way you start Visitor T Artist and switch databases if need be